Motorcycle riding, hobby or sport with an adrenaline kick, but also not without its risks. The fact that fewer and fewer people die in Germany on motorcycles is in part due to the continuous improvement in helmet design. A large part of this life-saving technology is due to the helmet manufacturer Schubert in Magdeburg, Germany. 350 employees manufacture the helmets which come in all types, from work helmets and industrial protection helmets to fire department, police and military helmets and on to motorcycle helmets. From 1970, we manufactured our first one in 1954. We have gotten into the motorcycle business much more intensively, and we then developed the first integral helmet. From that moment, all the innovations that have come to the motorcycle helmet market have come from Schubert. It was the first integral helmet. It was the first helmet with a sun visor. It was the first flip-up helmet. Schubert was always at the front of innovation. The motorcycle helmet begins in the composite department in which the helmet shell is manufactured. Glass fiber mats are preformed on two synthetic material presses, one for the left side of the shell and one for the right. The helmet shell is then pressed from both halves at 70 degrees and under 4.5 bar. Here in the water cutting machine, the helmet shell receives their final shape. A robot cuts the edges as well as the ventilation openings and assembly openings using a water stream of only 0.15 millimeters and a pressure of 3,500 bar. After that, the helmet is primed, smoothed off and ground. This allows even the smallest uneven spots to be made smooth. Robots also handle the painting. They apply two base paint layers and a clear coat with a UV filter in it. The last production step is the final assembly. 12 employees build the components into their helmet shells. The elements of select suppliers are installed. One of those parts is the absorption shell, a safety part. Our absorption system for the helmets are made from EPS, expanded polystyrene, and are of central importance for the total performance of the helmet. For that reason, we follow the creation of the shells from the raw material on, and we check the characteristics of the raw materials before they are sent to the suppliers of the parts which then produce the parts. For example, if the material fails here in the test, then that can lead to the helmets failing in the shock absorption test. An internal test laboratory at Schubert is used to carry out the prescribed tests. The helmet is put on a test head that has sensors and then they let it fall onto an anvil. We did this test with the curbstone and an anvil that simulates a curbside. You see it in the damage profile externally, that I can very clearly see the impact on the helmet shell. Which means that it absorbed the energy from the impact and distributed it over the entire helmet. If we look at that all inside, then we can see how the inner shell, the EPS, absorbed the energy of the impact by compressing. You see very clearly the creases inside, and you can see on the inside of the helmet, in the EPS, I have those white breakpoints where it absorbed the energy by being destroyed. Schubert began in 1953, at that time in Braunschweig, Germany, with the production of motorcycle helmets. Speed introduced a new era in the 1980s. A wind tunnel of its own was created, which is used today for new product development. The test dummy can lower, raise and turn its head. It has sensors on its throat that are used to measure the forces that occur while riding. Resistance, impetus, side forces and total forces are determined. Those forces change depending on the wind speed, the way the rider's head is directed and how the rider's head is turned. 
Essential for helmet development is, along with aerodynamics, the aeroacoustics. That was recognized at Shudberth early on as they expanded the wind channel to make it acoustic wind channel. Today, Shoeberth is the only helmet manufacturer that has a wind channel like that. Aerodynamic. Aerodynamics and aeroacoustics are important also for the safety of the helmet. We call that the active safety. When a rider rides for a long time, he can get inattentive in a loud helmet. If the helmet produces high aerodynamic forces on the throat, then that will contribute to making the rider tired. And riding awake in a state in which the rider can concentrate fully on the road is also safe riding. Those are, for that reason, important aspects for safety. Well-grounded know-how in motorcycle helmets, decade-long experience in the construction of work helmets, fire department helmets, police helmets, and military helmets, getting into Formula One in 2000 was only a logical next step. We have a visor for a Formula One helmet. This visor is bulletproof for a small caliber gun at 500 meters per second. That is the confidence that we have at our company for police and military helmets, where we also work with bulletproof materials and bulletproof technologies. A second element is the fire resistance of the helmet. We make products for the fire department and a Formula One helmet is just as well tested as a fire department helmet. The helmet is subjected for 45 seconds to five Bunsen burners with an open flame. A temperature of 900 degrees results. The flames are stopped after 45 seconds and the helmet has to put itself out after 10 seconds. To summarize, we can say that a Formula One helmet is a bit of an industrial work protection, a bit of fire department helmet, and a bit of military military helmet, a bit of motorcycle helmet, and the other way around. The elements that we develop in Formula One then go into the other areas too. And we are in Formula One not just to sell helmets, but rather to be permanently challenged, to push development as far to the front, which is very, very important in this area. Michael Schumacher was the first Formula One pilot who drove with a Schuberth helmet. And also, after his comeback in 2010, the record world champion continues to put his trust in the helmet from the tradition-rich company, just like many other drivers.